Howdy gang, it's Chris Angel coming at you for another episode of Marketing for the Rest of Us and tonight we're going to talk about uh, my garage. Yep, we're going to talk about my garage and how it relates to marketing. Very exciting. It is, uh, it was like 65 maybe today in Spokane. Uh, sunny, completely sunny and it felt amazing. I think I spent much time on the deck today soaking in the sun and um, it was awesome. Now somewhere in this relaxation, it is a Saturday on the day of this recording, Somewhere in the relaxation of the sun, maybe in the downtime of a quarantine, uh, I started to think, you know, I could clean my garage. I should clean my garage. That's the thought. But this time, see, every year we'll do a little bit of garage cleaning, spring cleaning. But this time I'm like, the thought process was this. I should, I should clean my garage. And then I was like, no, I, I can't just clean it. Like if I just clean it and I don't organize it, then it'll just become messy again because I, I just throw stuff in the garage. That's what happens, right? I just like, I don't know what to do with this, so we just throw it in the corner. And it's this corner that is a beast of a mess. So then I thought, well, I need to organize it. My next thought after that was, but I don't know how to organize it. And one of the stories I tell myself and have told myself for years is I never got the organizing gene. Like I just, I don't know how to organize things. I suck at that. I, another way I say it in in work life is I don't know how to file things. Like I don't, I, I never got the filing gene. I don't actually don't know what to do with a file. Like if you give me a file, I have a couple file cabinets and like I just put one thing in each manila folder and then I put another one thing in the manila folder. But there's no, <laughs> my organizational brain uh, hasn't grasped what to do with that. I don't know how to categorize things. So, so go back to the garage now. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what to do with this corner. That's a mess because where would I put stuff? Do my extension cords, I mean, it makes sense that extension cords would kind of go in one bin, but then what about tools? And I'm always having to pull my toolboxes out of bit. Like, it's just annoying because I'm like, I don't know how to do this. And so in the story of I don't know how to do this, what I, what I keep perpetuating is chaos in the corner of my garage. And we've had this house for 10 years. And every year I clean it out, but I, I never organize it. Why? Because I tell myself I don't know how to organize it. So every year I clean it, but every year it becomes a mess. Every year I clean it, but every year it becomes a mess. And so let's just pause for a minute in the story and then I'll circle back with, with how, how I'm going to solve this or how I solved it today. Uh, it's interesting that we all have these areas in life where we're like, oh, I really wish that were the case, but I don't know how to do that. A lot of people in business say this about marketing. They're like, well, I know I want to grow my business, but I don't know how to do marketing, or I don't really get social media, or I don't really understand algorithms and, and search engines. I don't really, technology is not my thing. I didn't get the technology gene, or I didn't, like, whatever, right? Uh, marketing doesn't feel right to me. There's all sorts of things we say about marketing. And we live inside a story of marketing that is disempowering. It's like we tell ourselves, I don't know how to do it, and then we just, and then we sort of like settle for that's the way it always is going to be. Just like how I've settled for 10 years in this garage of going, well, I'll clean it up, but I, and I, wanna, I want to organize it, but I don't know how, so then I don't. And a lot of what I'm saying is a lot of people in business will say, I, I probably should market. If, if I could market in a way that felt authentic to me and aligned with me, I would do it, but I don't know how. And then rather than figuring out this, the direction, rather than finding the answer, we just kind of surrender to the story called I don't know how. So here's what happened in the garage today. I was like, well, and it's so funny because I'm, I'm talking to my son, my 15 year old son, as I'm explaining my frustration with the garage. And I'm like, you know, if I were, if I were smart about this, I would just go look up how to organize a garage on the internet. <laughs> it's called the internet. I would go look up, how do I organize my garage? <laughs> So that's what I did, isn't it? It's just, it's, sometimes it's so bizarre that the answer are gonna be right under your nose and I've been here for, like I said, for 10 years. So I have never Googled, how do I organize my garage? Isn't that interesting? Like I've been frustrated that it's not organized. I have cleaned it. I keep telling myself, I don't know how to organize. And I just never thought to Google, how do I organize my garage? And sure enough, as I did that, a video came up, m many, many videos and many articles, but I, I found this one video uh, like a DIY, here's how you can build some shelves. Now I've built shelves in my garage before, 
but it wasn't from an organizational standpoint. I mean, I did it and we put bins in there, but it's still just as messy. So up pops this video with this guy doing this DIY thing. And in the context of me wanting to organize things, I watched this video. I'm like, oh my gosh, I could totally do this. I walked back out to my garage. I looked at the corner that is a mess. It's like this whole wall that, and we have really high ceilings in our garage. So there's a lot of space and I could be building shelves and making it all work. But uh, I looked at it with new eyes and I saw there were three distinct sections that I could see would would hold not only shelves, but a workbench or a workstation where I could hang the golf bags, where the bins would go, like all the stuff. And all I had to do was ask the question, how would I do this? How would I do this? I just had never asked that question, right? Um, I remember years ago when I read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, um, one of the one of the lessons I remember from that was that poor people will say, I can't afford it. And Rich Dad taught Robert Kiyosaki to ask the question, how can I afford it? It was such a cool question. It's just the smallest tweak, right? I can't afford it versus how can I afford it? Well, that's kind of what happened with me in the garage, right? I was like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to organize things. I can't organize things. And in a moment today, talking to my son, I'm like, how, how could I do that? How could I learn that? And then I Google searched it. I found a video. The video inspired me. I got new, a new perspective on what I could do. And now I'm reinvigorated for how to not just clean the corner of my garage, but actually organize it, actually do something about it. So it's interesting, right? Because there, there you might be in your business, uh, in your marketing, your current situation with marketing. And you might say, I don't know how to market. I don't know how to do videos. I'm not good at videos. I Whatever, th there's the, I can't afford it conversation and then you just insert whatever you say about marketing. I don't like marketing, marketing doesn't fit me, all that. Now, just add on the front end of whatever your current statement is, how? How could it fit me? How could marketing work for me? How would marketing feel authentic to me? And if you can start to at least open the door a little bit for a reframe on marketing, you might find yourself actually excited about, like I'm excited about these shelves in the corner now for how organizing my garage where in the past I was not excited to tackle that corner of my garage. You might find some excitement about marketing when in the past you've only felt frustration and dread simply because you're asking a new question. It's not that you don't want to do marketing. It's not that you don't want your business to grow. It's not that you don't want to reach more people with your important message and the important work that you have to offer people. But up to this point, you've just been frustrated. Like I've been frustrated not having an organizational gene. I'm like, ah, this is hard for me. I don't get this. And for you, you might say, I don't get marketing. I don't get it. Right. So, so maybe, maybe like I did today, add on the front end, how can I, how could I understand it? How can I do it? How could I learn it? And in that space, you now get to put yourself in a position of, of agency, of choice. Rather than being a victim of your story, like I've been with my garage, you don't have to be a victim of your story about marketing. You can actually step into some agency and make some decisions and choices for yourself moving forward rather than feeling stuck. Nobody wants to feel stuck. It's a ter I, hate, I, I hate that corner of my garage because I feel stuck. I, I physically get angry in that corner, I step on, a, in a, on an extension cord, I have to pivot my way around my, my, my lawnmower, and then I bump my shin on a, a, a bin that's lying on the floor. It's, it's ridiculous, it's stupid. And I just put up with it. And many of you just put up with your marketing uh, as inconsistent and clunky and um, inauthentic and however it feels for you. And it's just because we haven't asked we sort of feel like this is just the way it is and it doesn't have to be like we could ask a different question that would open up a new possibility for us like hmm hmm i know i want my business to grow and i really do want to reach more people with my my message and my work because i feel like it's important i feel like it matters listen if you're in this tribe you have work that matters because you feel it in your soul you're like what i have to say and what i do for people matters and then we Try to put on our marketing hat and everything gets wonky. Just like I put on my organizational hat and I'm like, I don't get it. So, so moving forward, as if you were in that spot of uh, resisting and uh, cussing out your, <laughs> your, 
your uh, relationship to marketing, um, there is another option, right? You don't have to stay stuck. And like I Googled a, 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 how do I organize my garage, you too could, could look for resources about marketing. You could look for resources that felt aligned to your personality and your mission and what you valued. I have such a resource. Oh my gosh, I have such a resource. It's a six-week program designed to help you take that message that's inside of you and, and share it with the world through some traditional, or not, maybe it's not traditional, but some, some common marketing standpoint. But the, the, the thing that makes this different is that it's not about the tool, and most training and marketing comes from the tool. The tools of marketing are simply that. They're just tools. What really matters is that you start to explore the truth that's inside of you to say to the world. That's, do you know most people will, this is actually perfect for the garage analogy because most people uh, will spend their time and money investing in tools and courses that teach them how to, to use the tools. And once they get the tools, uh, they will play with them for a bit, but then they stop using the tools because they realize they don't know how to access their message. It is your message to the world. That has to be found because if you don't have that, it doesn't matter how great you get with the tools, you won't keep using them because what you're saying doesn't feel authentic or true to, to you. And so you'll stop. It's the same thing in, in, in DIY projects. People will go buy the, the, the two by fours and the shelves and the power tools because that's fun. But then, and they might even build the shelves, but when it comes time to actually use the shelves in a way that organizes the garage, it, isn't, it wasn't built that way. And many of you have built marketing tools into your business, but you didn't think from the place of how do these tools serve the bigger purpose. And so you have landing pages and you have email and you might have done Facebook ads, but you don't understand what's really happening in the background of your marketing and what it's all for. All of it is for connection. All of it is, is there to serve you getting a message out to the world that makes the world a better place. That's the point of marketing. Conversion is just some convenient way to measure something, but it's not about conversion. It's about you sharing the thing that's in your soul to say. And, and that's why we have to spend time there, right? So if that's interesting to you, you're like, you know what? I, I, I'm skeptical at best of most marketing things, but I do realize that there, there, is, an, there is a possibility for me to 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 step into a marketing if that kind of marketing was aligned with my soul, if that kind of marketing was authentic to me. And if there was a kind of marketing like that out there, then maybe there is a way I could step into marketing. Right, perfect. And that's what my six-week program does, right? You can go to groundswellmethod.com and you can see there's five videos there that actually talk about the this perspective and paradigm of marketing. And on the last page of those five videos, is an application button. It says apply today. It's in yellow. It's a yellow button. You can click apply today and apply for the next upcoming six-week program. Because that, this is the work we do. Just like if this guy that does shelves and organize his garage, like it'd be cool if I could just go like have like learn from him and I can go read his article and his YouTube videos and all that stuff and that's great. So some of you are at that spot where you're ready to take your message and your important work in the world to the next level. And you're going to need a way to broadcast that. But before you do that, you're going to have to tap into what that message really is. So again, go to groundswellmethod.com. You can look at the five videos there. And, um, and then if you're interested in the six-week program, you can apply uh, by clicking the apply button. Gang, thanks for hanging out with me tonight in this episode of Marketing for the Rest of Us. Until tomorrow when we go live again, here's to you asking better questions like how can you make marketing work for you? See ya.